Okay, so this video is going to be about how to manually upload a WordPress website or website using an FTP software called FileZilla, okay? So uh, if you're doing this from scratch, okay, you're going to want to get your files from uh, WordPress.org, okay? So you're going to click on that link. Then you're going to click this link up on top for downloads. So click on downloads. Then you're going to get the actual files from download WordPress 6.2.2. Click on that. Then you're going to want to go. I use a Mac, so it's going to go straight to my downloads files. You're going to click on that zip file, double click that. Uh, and then the files open up. Here's the actual WordPress file. Oh, well, you're going to double click that. And uh, these are actually your, uh, your WordPress files. Okay. And then after you do that, um, if you don't know what FileZilla is, then you're going to have to get the FileZilla um, software too. Okay, so where do you get that FileZilla software at? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to FileZilla. Okay. FileZilla download. You're going to want to click on the um, FileZilla link up here. Uh, depending on what kind of operating system or computer that you use, uh, you can either pick the, um, the, the Mac version or the Windows version. Um, let's see where mine's at. I use Mac, so I'm going to want to click this one right here for Mac. And if you notice, it says here, download FileZilla client for Mac. So I'm going to click on that. And then you're going to want to get the um, click on this link here, download. Okay, it's going to go down to your downloads file. Okay, so if you check over here, if you notice, there is the actual FileZilla um, file right there. So you're going to want to double click on that. And then this is the actual um, installation file for FileZilla. Okay, I already have FileZilla installed in my computer. So after you install it, it you're gonna it's you're gonna have a shortcut on your on your computer. So all what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to actually uh, double click the button up here. It's gonna open up the FileZilla. This is the um, FileZilla FTP software. Okay. So what you're going to do with this is this is what you're going to use to actually upload the files to your hosting account, whether it's uh, GoDaddy um, or whatever else that you use, et cetera, et cetera. So now you're going to want to go to, uh, I use GoDaddy. So, <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to, okay, so. If you're using GoDaddy, uh, this is how your GoDaddy um, should open up. Okay, you're gonna want to click on the um, your C panel for your GoDaddy. Okay, um, you are gonna need some information from your um, from your hosting for this to connect to, to your hosting account. So you're gonna to wanna to get the um, your IP address. You wanna copy and paste that and put that up here where it says host. Okay, you are gonna need a username. And how do you get that? Okay, you're gonna to have to go to your uh, FTP accounts in your cPanel, double click that. You're gonna to have to create it, okay? So you're gonna to have to create a a new login for your um, for your username for your FTP. So you can just create anything, okay? So something like that, and then just get a password, okay? Um, password. I'm just gonna create one. <clears throat>
Okay, you're also going to want to delete this in the bottom. It's just easier for your um, for your FTP. So I delete this part in the bottom here. And then you're going to want to push here, create FTP account. Uh-oh. Don't match. Okay, so I just created my FTP account login. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste it right here where it says username. You're going to want to use the password that you just created for the FTP account. The port's always going to be 21. Okay, you push quick connect, and then you're going to see all your files from your uh, hosting server right here. Okay, now, where do you, which file do you upload all your files to? You're going to actually pick the actual public HTML folder. You're going to double click that. If you notice, there's nothing in, 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 your, in, in your file manager or your files here or in your public HTML. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go to, again, you're going to go to your, um, your WordPress, your WordPress folder. You're going to double click your WordPress folder. And these are the files that you're going to need to actually get your, uh, WordPress website online. Okay. So you're going to, um, drag all these files in here. Okay, and if you notice now it's transferring. And it should take about maybe less than five minutes to transfer all these files uh, to your hosting company. And um, that's pretty much it. That's how you transfer um, your, um, your, your website files to your, um, your hosting provider. All right, have a great have a great day guys.